see. Are we there? Yep. So wait for everyone to come in. Hi, everyone. Uh, let me get my camera set up while we're waiting. I wanted to show a couple things. Hi, Joan. <laughs> my, my typing's terrible, too, today. <laughs> I keep like not pressing hard enough and I'm, my letters are missing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did How did, uh, I'm anxious to see. Oh, there you are. You're watching the big screen. I have to go back and watch that. I never even thought about putting those on the jelly plate. That first poll that I saw was good. I'll have to go back and look at the others. And did you, did you see, um, you have Prime, did you see, we watched Top Gun last night. They just, I guess they just posted it. Hey, Julie, hi. Oh, that's a comment I picked up. Oh. <laughs> hi, Liz. <laughs> yeah, there's Top Gun um, came on. It was pretty good. I liked it. You watched it. Oh, you watched it a few weeks ago. Oh, that's good. Hey, Dar. Hey, Ann. Martha. Welcome, everyone. All right, so I'm going to share a couple new things for that I got from Jane. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do. So um, I didn't send your red um, your red thing yet, Patty, because I was waiting for these. I, I'm sending you one of these brushes. Of course, everybody's got water brushes, but how cute are these <laughs> with the mermaid tail? I'll have to put my auto focus on just for the beginning. Hold on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hi, Teresa. Welcome. So look how cute these are. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Scrap Girl. So, I mean, it's of course, they're just regular water brushes, but what makes them so cute are these little mermaid tails. I'm trying to think of a way how I could take them off and make them charms or earrings, <laughs> of course. And then she has a little brush, too. So there's three of them. I don't know what I did with my other one, but I sent you... Um, I'm, Monday tomorrow I'll send the the red um little pan and then I sent you one of these brushes. <laughs> Hi Susan. Did you get your happy mail yet? So that's that. She has her new acrylic brushes. That's what's in here. I took them out so you could oops, that's not it. <laughs> but um yeah, these are her new acrylic brushes. So you can see that there. Oh, you're welcome. Hi Devin. <laughs> Finished already? And then I got the, um, she has this course. It was a whole thing. You got the art, um, the acrylic brushes, this, and then a little spinner to keep them all in. Um, I want to um, decorate it. She put stickers on there, but I want to find my washi tape and put my mermaids on there. So we'll see. Not yet, but, oh, you live on an island. Oh, okay. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. So. Yeah, so she sent you these stickers that you can use, um, which I think she put this. But I want to put this one mermaid at work, and then I want to put some mermaids around the edge of it. So she sent, so I got those. Uh, hi, Dorothy. Now, did you guys change your clock? Clock. So what time is it there now? It's four o'clock here. So what time is it there, Joan and uh, Dorothy? Because yours go ahead. So are you watching it? Is it 10 o'clock at night now or 11? And aren't these cute, the little palettes? I'm going to probably put, I don't know, maybe like little um, charms and stuff in there. And then, let's see. I did get, uh, oh, it's gone to nine. Oh, that's good. So it's an hour earlier then, right? Um, I think we're going to play with this. So I wind up getting the stencil from Elizabeth St. Clair. I went up getting her her bag, and it came with this, um, an ink pad, and then an art foamy, a heart art foamy. So we'll probably play with that. Uh, oh, it's just sore paw. Aww. And then, uh, so I wanted to share this. For those of you who love fairies and mushrooms, um, this is a new girl that I saw. Look at all these that she drew. You see those? Oh my gosh, she's so good. And her name is, if you're, she's on Instagram, her name is The Creative Cove. So, hi, Dee Dee. <laughs> um, oh, Dee Dee, I sent you one of these. 
Look how cute that is with the mermaid tail. I mean, it's just a water brush, but come on. Focus. There it is. <laughs> so I sent you one. I sent you some ha a little happy mail. And I did um, I did stamp my um, images, but I did it on, I don't think I was supposed to do it on cardstock. And I did it on tone paper because I didn't color them. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me because I just I just couldn't do it this week. My knuckles have been so swollen this week. Oh, I can't. Uh, I just couldn't color. I can't do anything. Hey, Dar. Artie Dar, welcome. <laughs> anyway, so this is her little. She has a, a lot of things. She has this. She has birds. She does these cute little. Um, and she does it on her uh, channel. I actually watched her this morning. And she did um, something very similar to uh, CC Creations. Um, I tagged CC on it because I'm sure she didn't follow her. And she did watercolor. I want to do Patty would probably like her. Go to see her video today. That she did today. And she just dropped watercolor in there. And then she took her score tape and added circles. And then just did like lot. Oh, it was so good. Her pieces were so good. And she said they were inspired by CC and... Uh, yeah, she does a lot of things. She's good. I like her. Um, I forget what her name is, but she's called the Creative Cove here on YouTube and at her Instagram. So, yeah. So, check her out. Oh, I thought maybe. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to swatch these, her new things. I, I did get this um, cute little bunny paper. So, I was thinking about doing a vase and then putting that out. I don't know. And some new laces from Jane. This one's pretty. We'll probably spray either this one through this one, or I like this one. I think we're going to do this one. This is like a music with flowers. This just looks so feminine-like. Isn't that pretty? Look at that one there. So I think we're going to do this. You just sobbed. Yeah, she's good, right? Yeah, well, watch her video from this morning. Oh, it's so good. I think I'm going to do that because... Um, uh, my hands are too much, but I don't know if I'll be able, I'll definitely can do the watercolor, but I'll have to do the line work. I don't know. I'll have to do it little by little, I think. Oh, and this is my other one that I got from her. This one's pretty in it. So I got that. All right. So, and then if you watched uh, PM Artist Studio, uh, I think it was last week, um, P, she got some Chinese cutouts. And I showed you guys um, when I went in the summer, where's my phone? Um, you love the lace? Thanks, Joan. I, uh, hold on. I, I've showed you guys the Chinese cutouts that I got, and mine were big. They were like 24 by like 10. So I don't know if you remember, like here's the rooster one. And this is super thin. Well, you'll see when I show you these. Super thin. I know Colleen would love that, but I can't give it up. Sorry, Colleen, if you're watching. <laughs> and then I got this one with the birds. Do you remember that? And I gave one of these to uh, Jane. That was the one that I said, uh, if Jane didn't like it, to give it to her mom. But she said she was keeping it. <laughs> I found those um, on eBay. But I'm going to show you these. Let me take this away. And you, if you go on eBay. Uh, uh, here, hi, CB. If you go on. Oh, CB, you'll love these. Uh on eBay, they're called Chinese paper cutouts. And so you could see that. So there's that one, paper cutouts. Now, this one looks almost like the big one that I got. Now, I only paid, I think it was $10 for those big giant ones. Oh, my gosh, I didn't realize. And she had two more, and I didn't buy them. Of course, now I'm sorry, I didn't buy them. And she, um, if you go on eBay, these little ones go anywhere from like $10 to $80. <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh. So now if I had Chinatown, um, but for me to get to Chinatown, I have to get to the ferry, off the ferry, to New York, to Chinatown to try to find these. <laughs> so it was worth the money on eBay to get them. Um, I'm going to show you the, I love these, but I'll show you these first. So this one, or you can go under that Chinese folk uh, paper cuts. And they look like, doesn't that look like it's just printed um, on the paper? It's not. If I try to, I'll try to take one of these out. But look how cute these butterflies. We're going to use one of these today. One or two of these today. Aren't they pretty? 
and they're so thin. Like, how do they do it? I don't know. And then here's some here, two more here. And then I love this combination. This with that mint green reminds me of Jane's green. There you go. And then there's that one. I cut one of these open so that you could see how thin they are. Uh, see if I can pull that out. Look how super, it's, it's like copy paper, really. And can you see how thin that is? There we go. It's so delicate. Like, how do they do that? <laughs> I don't know. But the ones that I really love are these crane birds. So I thought maybe we'd do, I'm going to see my girlfriend tomorrow and we're going to be, she loves fairies. So um, I'm bringing her some fairy things and uh, I think I'll do a journal fairy thing out. Great how they are all cut out. I know, right? <laughs> Look at these though. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Now these I think, oh, these I can open up. that with the little pink mushrooms and then see how super thin they are so you could put use them on either side super thin so i actually have this one i think i have i think i bought two sets of this because i'm going to send some to jane of course and cb i'll probably send you one um and then look how I mean, look how delicate they are. Look at that. So I think what if I do when I put them down, I'll actually put the matte medium down or I'll use the um, Yamatoto glue um, that Patty used today. Look at that one. They're so pretty. And they had one that had a fish. Oh, I wanted that one so bad, but they wanted $80 for that. I forget how many fish, maybe 10 or 12, but $80 for the fish. I mean, these are beautiful, these little cranes, right? These, I think that these are. Cute that is. And he's, oh, she said adhesive spray. That's a good idea too. Very good. Um, but I love these. These are like my favorite besides the fish, of course. <laughs> how pretty that is isn't it oh my gosh I, I just don't know how they do it and then peachy got one that were were they dragons or i forget children or something there's that one so we'll have to do something um something uh, oriental-ish to put these on <laughs> And they had zodiac signs. You could have got the zodiac signs. Those were cool too. And uh, the ones for um, the Chinese New Year, like the rabbit and, you know, all that, the horse. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? I'll probably post them in um, <clears throat> PM Artist Studio so I could show uh, Mariah and um, Patricia. And then I found this in my little one of my little bags, kind of like cloth. So we can mix this with this. We do a layout, but not today. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> um, and then, all right, that's my paint. Oh, so I said we're going. I'm going to my girlfriend's to do. Um, um, thanks, Devin. Um, um, so we're going to do fairies because she loves fairies. And so I wind up getting um, one of these. I'll show you. This is, this is off P. MacFadal, file, fatal.com. <laughs> there you go. 
And um, look how cute. You know, have you seen on IG the butterflies that make a bookmark and you put them together? So these are little berries. So we'll probably make that tomorrow. And then I wound up finding uh, from Prima has some decoupage um, fairies. Oh, these are so pretty. I'm so looking forward to Stamperia's. Um, oh, I didn't bring them. Oh, yeah, there they are. Um, Stamperia's um, new collection, The Magic Forest. So good for fairies. Um, hold on. And so they came out with. <laughs> Look how cute these are. Can you see this? I don't know if I can focus it without. Come on. There we go. Oh, this way. Aren't they cute? We can reference each one on each other. I want to talk him, they're talking to Dar. And then look at this one's got the look, Joan, you'd love this one with the owl. There it is. A little bird. A little cage. So I'm probably gonna work on a my fairy journal. I'll have to bring that over there. And then I'll probably post tomorrow what we did. And then I was in my room upstairs where I have all my extra junk and I wanted to show you what I found. Um, hold on. I forgot all about this journal. Well, it's not really a journal. It's more like a scrapbook, I guess. And I wound up teaching when I used to teach um, at the scrapbook uh, store, I wound up teaching this class. Uh, so let's see. Hopefully I fix this this thing to see how that is. Um, so we need these. But this is uh, some bow bunny paper. So you can see how cute these little fairies are. Come on. There they are. This is some flower soft here. These are some sunflowers that I made. And then I'll just open it really quick just to show you. And we wind up making these flowers. And then these are the little birds. And we stamped that. Thanks, Dee Dee. <laughs> and then what's in here? I haven't even looked at this. Oh, this was a... Um, ah, look, who's, look, I didn't even realize that was in there. <laughs> that is from 2015. Oh my gosh, look at that. I didn't even know that that was in there. <laughs> and then there's this one. I loved I loved always putting flowers. So you can see that there. Flowers in the charm there. I love this paper. I forgot all about this paper. I must have extra somewhere because I'm sure. And then these are just extra tags, I'm sure. And then I added the little butterflies in there. This postcard, I think it goes in there like that. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I didn't even realize that that was in there. And then here is a little pocket that I made with all these mushrooms. And that was a crafter's workshop one. And then these are some mushrooms. I forget. I think somebody sent me these pictures. I don't remember taking those pictures, but... But look at my tag. Oh, my gosh, I love it. I even forgot I did this tag. <laughs> Can you see that? Look at all the um, flower soft. And then this is like little beads inside here. And that. So you can see that there. Aren't they cool? I forgot all about these. <laughs> and then here is my tree. You can see it's on acetate. I love doing these trees. <clears throat> so... I just took tissue paper, it had a little punch. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks. Thank you, Susan. 
And then we flipped his clear page over. And then I did the tree on the other side with the little bee. It's nice. I, what I love about acrylic is that you can see through it. So you actually, even though this page is very plain, you can still see stuff behind there. Thanks, Dee Dee. Oh, my gosh. And then look at these cute little, uh, I was like, did I really do these? But I did. <laughs> you remember making the tree? Yeah, I loved the tree. And then so here's some more little sunflowers. Cute little fairy. <laughs> and this one is almost seems something like you would give me CB, but maybe that's one of Tim's um Timmy's little people. Let's see that there. Cute tiny those little seeds are. Come on, there you go. Oh, thanks, Joan. <laughs> Cute. And then, uh, this, what are these? Oh, this is one. To, oh, so there's another mushroom. I don't know who gave me those. Um, and then this one year I had my um, porch and I painted my pumpkins neon pink, hot pink, the lime green and the purple, and then did little spots. And then this was my mailbox. Do you guys remember me? I had this on a page in one of the Halloween journals. That's where I got it from, from my mailbox. So you can see that there. Hi, Brenda. Oh, my gosh. I loved your girl, your little girl on IG. And then see my uh, planters. I actually put um, the two pumpkins and then put some leaves behind there. I used to always go out with my, with my porch for Halloween, but then I don't really do it for, like, Christmas or... <laughs> Anywhere else for like Valentine's, just mostly Halloween. I don't know why that is. <laughs> and then look how cute that one is. Cute little fairy there. And this one, I love that. That one. That one looks cute with all like uh, broken leaves. And of course, all my little flowers. I love those. See those there. Okay, Dar, have fun. I love this stamp. I have to look for this stamp. I don't even know where it is. This was a Prima butterfly stamp. Can you see it? There we go. Prima made some really pretty stamps in the beginning, and then they didn't afterwards. I love that one. So it's like, but now what do I do with this? I'm not going to stick pictures in it. So it's like, I don't know. I just have it on. I'm going to put it on my shelf because I had it in a bag. I was like, what's it doing in there in the bag? <laughs> there we go. All right. And then there's this one. I love this one with her pine cone dress. You see that? Add some fairies to it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll bring it to her house tomorrow and I'll add some fairies. And then here's my cute little fairy house. Look at with the pine cone roof and the little acetate. Can you see? And then it's a little window with the bee. Come on. There we go. And that was the name of the uh, line, Enchanted Harvest. And then I used um, some burlap. Yeah, it was very cute, isn't it? And then I had some cute ribbon with the ac acorns. That, anyway. Anyway, I found it. So I think I'll bring that to her house. And maybe I will add some new fairies to it. We'll see. So. What do I do? I have a gun. You got to fill it with. Oh, Thanksgiving. And, oh, that's a good idea, too. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll add a few more fairies and then I'll use it um, for a, like a quote book. That's good. All right. So I have one of my um, swatches so that we could swatch. I'm so excited because Jane will be doing her, um, her Greek uh, workshop. So I got them specifically for that. And then I have to make my book. I haven't done the, I haven't done that yet. I did get some. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joan. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> I loved it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what is that doing? Um, it was stuck in a bag in another bag all covered up. And I'm like, why was that? <laughs> I don't know. 
Who knows? <laughs> uh, the thing, let me get this out. Oh my gosh, see how weak my hands are? I can't even pull this. There we go. Pull that out. Okay, uh, and then for all my prayer warriors out there, I could use some good vibes for Tuesday. I am having trouble with my right knee again, and I have to go back to the knee surgeon. And I'm crossing my fingers. There's not an infection in there, but uh, we'll see. I have a super hard time going up the stairs and at night. Oh, I should have pulled these all out before. Darn. Uh, all right, so we have this. I'm going to use my new brush. Actually, I'm going to use my new water brush. Do I have water in here? This one? I use a little one. Oh, thanks, Linda. Hi. I wish this would... They don't really stay at the tip like that. I would love that if they did, but they don't. But I can just have them sitting here looking <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> My little mermaid. Oh, you can't see. Oh, let me pull. Do I have to pull back out? Oh, I think I need to come down. Let's see. There we go. Uh, add it to your list. What is that? I missed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, the live stream. Yeah, Devin's having a live stream tomorrow with Shelly, right? The show her scavenger hunt. Oh, cool. Oh, thank you, Susan. <laughs> All right, so do I have water in this one? I think I do. All right, so let's see. Let me all open these up really quick. I should have done that before. I didn't even think about it. Some of these you're probably like, oh, Patty, I was listening. If you guys uh, watch Lena, she's uh, Miss Lennox 2010 here. And um, I'm so happy to see her posting uh, YouTube videos um, over the weekend. Um, she has RA like me, and uh, she's been having a really hard time. I mean, I have it, at least I have it where my ankles and my knees where I could sit down and still kind of use my hands, but she's got it in her hands really bad. Anyway, she um, posted some things that she was working on and she's looking for, and I'll have to look, now I've got, I want it too. <laughs> it's a, she says she's looking for the Kira, oh, let me turn the autofocus off. Uh, Kiritaki uh, Art Nouveau. Uh, where are my hands? Hold on. Uh, hold on. There we go. It's a uh, Pure Talkie 24 uh, watercolors, they are. And um, one of the red is a Chinese red orange, Patty. That is, I don't know if you can get them separate. I doubt it. But they're out of stock everywhere. So I want to uh, want to see if I could try to get my hands on that also i saw somebody swatched them on youtube they look really nice but uh, she's like i should have got them and now i want them and i can't find them <laughs> i don't know what the red orange is called i watched some girl just if you just you know google on youtube um kirataki art nouveau and then she swatches it and you'll see the red it's and i think she said it was supposed to be the chinese red orange and that's probably the color you want but I think the stamping little tin that I have for you, I think that's, we probably should just stamp it on here. You could probably stamp it too, but um, I don't know if I put mine around where mine is. Ah. It's watercolor. You know, like the Kiritake, you know, the one that's in that green um, box, you know, and they're really, they're really fat and long. Let me see if we could use the R. Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. I'll have to go look at that. Yeah. Yeah, so you might want to check that out. <laughs> Enabler alert. <laughs> Jet pens has them. Did you get you? Oh, they do. But they don't have. Um, I tried to look on their site for. Everybody sold out. Lick, Dick Blick. I don't know why I always call it Dick Blick. Blicks. <laughs> um, 
uh, Utrid, Utrid, Jet Pens, all of them. Oh, you did? <laughs> okay. I, but it wasn't her that I watched. It was another girl, and I can't remember who it was. She just did like a 15-minute or 20-minute swatching of them, and she was the one who was saying how, um, and I think in that palette, two or three of them gradiate. So. All right, there we go. I'll put these there. Can you see? Let me get to you. I want you to be able to. Oh, if I can't get this to go in. There we go. Here, I should pull those out, but whatever. Okay, there we go. And I want a paper towel. I really should take a piece of paper and wash off the other. Let's see. Do I have any? Looking for some paper. Hold on. Mm. Here, we'll do it on this. Because I don't want to put all that ink back in the uh, <laughs> in. Let's put it there just because it makes me happy. <laughs> All right, so let's go with this one first. I really want the, there's a fine, medium, and bold. So I really want the fine one. I need, this one is the fine one. This is why I don't use so much ink. I don't have a lot of space there. Now, let's Hopefully, we can go through this without me spilling it. <laughs> and it has yet to fail that I have not opened one of these and spilt it. Oh, I forget if I have to shake these. I think I do. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I can see already this has like a gray-brown to it. Kind of even like a blue, kind of like. Cool. And that color was Cyclops. Can you see the top? Oh, do I might in there? I feel like I'm off camera. Hold on. I need to move this over a little. There we go. <laughs> you can't see the tops. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, so let's look at that one already. Now that has like a brown and a green. Can you see it? Well, I don't have autofocus on now, but I'll put it on when we when we finish. So this one is Centaur. Oh, I'm gonna shake it. So these are all supposed to be gradient inks. So we'll see. Yeah, some pink in there. Yeah, there is. Yep. Oh, my gosh. And I told you guys last week about all the whales that have been um, breaching. Oh, this week, we had seven dolphin. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> they had two that they were gone right away. And then they tried to save the other five, and they just couldn't. Oh, it was so sad. And it's like now we're just getting into our warm weather. So who knows how many, um, like how much more now will come.
I know, terrible, isn't it? Oh, it's so sad. They're so pretty animals and ugh, terrible. All right, this one is, like I said, I can't see really if there's anything. Minerva. Uh, yep, that's true. Yep. Yep, I think so. I think of these would be really good with that technique that uh, the girl did today this morning from the Creative Cove. I would like that. That would be pretty. You swam with them about five times, really? My gosh, Gabby and Jimmy swam with the manatees in Florida when we went to Florida one year. I wanted to do it, but the incline, like to get off the boat, you had to like go off on these little lat. I just couldn't do it with my knee. Oh, I wanted to do it, but they loved swimming with the manatees. Did you do that in open ocean, Patty? Or did you go to like a, see, they went to like a sanctuary for manatees in Florida. Yeah, that's true, Ann. Yeah. Well, not in the wild, yeah. That was terrible. It's so nice here today, too. You have the sun shining all day, Patty? We did here. Really nice. That one is Neptune. A little fact about me. Can't fact this. Neptune is where I grew up. Neptune, New Jersey. I went to Neptune High School. Our colors were red and black. <laughs> That's a pretty color. We lived in a big island and we used to swim in the ocean with the pond. Oh, wow. Wow, that's cool, Teresa. Let me try to get most of these colors out. This one is hydrangea. This one looks like your color, Patty, like a teal. So that's why you wore red. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, Devin. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Weren't those pictures great? Um, was it Martha that posted those pictures, the mermaid pictures? Patty sh shared them with me, too. Um, with the um, old woman who uh, was dressed up like a mermaid, like older ladies. They were so cool. But they were also very expensive. Seventeen fifty <laughs> each. That's your color there, Patty. That one, hydrain, Hydra. Oh, that was Patricia. Yeah. Uh, Patty shared it with me, too. Um, but, oh, my gosh, they were so nice, weren't they? So do you think that woman was really in the water? I know. They're so beautiful, right, Susan? Those are very cool. Look like they were, yeah, they did, right? With their hair flowing. But I didn't know if they did that like digitally or. This 
next one is Venus. Oh, I love that one. It's like a pink salmon color. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, I have to put that on here. If, if they did, Susan, <laughs> your mom will burn mermaid girl too. That one is really pretty. I love that one. It could be like for your face. Oh, I love that. And the last one is Pegasus. Well, this one's a nice shadowy color. So I want them, you know, I have a hard time with um, spraying. Jane's coming out with a new sprayer. It's like a, um, it's not like this one. It's not like this. It's like this. <laughs> what is that? A trigger, a trigger sprayer. And I was like teasing. We were in chat and I was teasing like she, she did that specifically for me, you know, because I have so much trouble squeezing my hand like that, that she developed those sprayers just for me. <laughs> um. All right, so that's the gradient ink. So let me put the, um, see, I should add more water. I should add more. So you can see how it's like spritzing now. Let's see. <clears throat> let me put the autofocus on. Aw. Martha get, uh, gifted me um, some seashells from a friend. I've shared them here before. Where and then in the each little bag, there's a little I have to dig those out again. Um, a little like she wrote herself a little note, like uh, of inspiration, so it was um really cool. So you could see, so let's see if you could see here. There you go. So, you see, in this one, there's just a little touch of pink. This one's hard to see. This one also has some kind of kind of like pinkish in it. There's brown. There's that one. Now see I had a lot more water on the bottom of these. That's your color right there, Patty. So that's got like a little kind of like lavender maybe in that one. Doesn't really show up on the camera as well. There you can see. So I added too much water on these. That one still has to dry. I love this pink one, though. The pink, I like that one. This got a little pink in there, too. Can you see that? It's got, like, a little a touch of pink in there. It's hard to see. This one's got a little touch of something. I don't know what. But they're cool. So that's another one. I'll have to just let that dry, and then I'll put the names up to that. Every time you see blobs of paint, you see faces. <laughs> Somebody was showing something. I'm like, oh my gosh, I see a face in that. But they didn't see it. I forget, I forget what it was or who it was. All right. So what time is it? Oh, we got about a, just about an hour. So maybe we'll just use what I have here. I've got to find a spot for my new little caddy. But I want to decorate it first. <clears throat> Let's come back and see how that dries off. So I have this. Remember we did this and I just kind of like stamped it, stamped it off. I think this was that mermaid lace that we use. Um, what should we do? I also have my book that we can use. I didn't show you. I finished. Maybe we'll do that. Um, I'm still looking for a saying for it, but I didn't do it. Oh, thanks, Devin. Um, this is what we worked on last week. So I wind up putting stickles, stickles on them. You see that there? Mm -hmm. 
And then now you could see kind of the, I think you can see the shimmer there now. That one's got a lot of shimmer. It's hard to see still. Shimmer is always the hardest to show. Oh, that one you can see a lot there. Maybe if I just put it down. Can you see it there? Anyway, I wound up going with gold around the edges and the stickles. And then remember she had that big blue patch on her face? So I wound up putting some layer cake on that. But I'll still have to, um, I want to put something here, some type of quote, but I don't know what yet. <laughs> the napkin's really pretty, came out pretty. All right, so let's see, what should we do? Hmm. Let's see, maybe this one. You like the green? <laughs> Who doesn't like green? Mariah, she, I can't believe she doesn't like green. I mean, um, it's not, I don't, I don't like it, but um, it still was pretty. What P was working on it was pretty with the green. <laughs> so let's see. Let's, uh, let's take the new lace that I got and we'll spray that. Let's see. I think I have two of these. I'm good with it. Let me put it on the lace. Okay. I'm sure I had two of those. Two of those. Let's see if I get now. Hold on. Still looking. I know I got two. Hmm. Well, I can't find the other one. We'll just have to move it. So I'm going to... I want to use either the butterfly. I think I want to use the butterflies. Any ideas on how to store it? Hmm, I don't know. Are there big pieces like on canvas and frames? So I have this light green. Remember, we did this was, do I want to go with this? Or should we go back to this? The only problem is, war, you know, with, um, what do you call it? Waterproof. I mean, water um, reactive. Oh, I also had the stencil I wanted to use, too. Where is that? Oh, hold on. Oh. I also saw in the rented storage. You have to be careful with I think Mariah was saying that they store a lot of their art in a storage, but then mice got in there and um, was nibbling at the canvas. I think it was the canvas. Do you remember, Devin? Did I still have autofocus on or did I turn it off? Oh, I see. All right. So I really don't know what I want to do. Let's just let's just work on her. I'll put this big heart here. We could make her into a fairy. Or I can actually make this into her wings. Let's do that. Do I need a pencil? Let's see. Do I want this color? Let's do it with the teal.
And then we'll have to decide on our hair. Um, I still need my things though. I like the journal things. Mm. Yeah, damn, messy palette head. Right, a lot of storage in. Yeah, storage be up by, yep. Little mice, yep. All right, um, what shall we do? Why, what do I do with this? I don't want to spray here, probably with dab here. Let's, let's see what we're going to do. Oh, there's the other one. I know I had two. Uh, let's see. If we did this, but we're going to have to cover her face. that and then we need I need a piece of something to cover her, her face a piece of paper hold on mm. of course you wouldn't I wouldn't have any paper here I don't want to use that hold on still looking I'll cover her with this face. Just making a mask to cover her face so we don't get any. Hey, Joy, did you get your Happy Meal? I think I sent them out on Wednesday. It's just a basic. Um. No, not yet. Okay. To let me know. Oh, it's right. You're, you're way up there. Yeah. Yours will probably take, probably, I would say next Monday, maybe. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take my, do I have my spray box here? Let's take this. Oh, you had bad storms. Yeah. We had a lot of rain last week, too. Oops. I'm going to have to move this because I don't want any spray on my new little brush holder. 
I went to four. I made a uh, splatter thing. I'm just going to block that, kind of. So when we spray it, it doesn't get all over. I can actually do it this way, too. want a little bit more on her wing here. Let's see if we can add another little piece. I'm going to put something on here. Hold that down. Okay. I'm going to use this green. Do I want this green? We'll go with the green and see what happens. <laughs> and then maybe I'll add some star power green. I got that around here somewhere. Hopefully this works. I think we couldn't get this to spray last time, right? <laughs> so we'll see. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll let that sit a minute. Uh, smallest pieces. Yeah, or you could make um, kind of like a Rolodex thing maybe and make a little box but so that they can flip over. You know what I mean? Like a Rolodex. You just make an open box and if if they're like eight by 11 or something like that. So you could rifle through them if you want to see them. Let's just let that dry for a few minutes. And then, um, and then I want to do this at the bottom. Use this little star thing. But what color should we put at the bottom? We can either go with, um, oh, what color? Should we stay with the blue and green and teals or go with something else? Pink? What color should we do the bottom? I think her hair, I don't know what we're going to do with her hair. I want to make her kind of like a forest fairy. So let's see. That's a little wet right there. Oh, that's pretty. Look how delicate that is. It's nice, isn't it? We can make her like in the forest. You see that there? See how nice and delicate that is? That's one of Jane's lace. I think it's called Musical, Musical Flower or something. And we'll glitter up these wings. Um, and then she could be, we can make some flowers here. Let's see. It's kind of like her. Kind of like her. This could be off. She could have like a thing off to the side. That's a great effect for hair. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's cool, right? And then we could add, um, I don't know, some bigger flowers or something like that. It's cool, though. 
All right. And then I think we're going to put some eyes. I have my rub on eyes. Um, where did I put those? There we go. So these are her uh, rub ons for tattoo. Uh, Call them something else, tattoo something. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's see. Where are the eyes? Here we go. So what size are we going to use? Those are too big. Too big. Probably these with the green. It might be a little small, but let's see. Um, let's see how these are. We'll go with the other one of these. So we can go with those. Do you like that? Or those. I think I kind of like this to separate them a little bit. The next size up would be too big. That would be these. They would be too big. Um, we could try. We could do it. That's brown eyes. And then this would be the green eyes. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Debbie showed, if, if you don't follow Debbie Epps in the um, chat, she did um, a YouTube yesterday and she shared all her backgrounds. Oh, she's so good at backgrounds and Lindy's. I actually want to, did you see the new one, Lindy's? It's Alice in Wonderland, Debbie. So I have it in my cart, the Alice in Wonderland and then the Magical Forest one. I forget, I was going to check one, one other one out. Now, why do you get the powders over the spray? You just like the powders better? Yeah, Debbie does awesome abstracts. She does. Yeah, they just came out. It's called Alice and Wonderland. So what do you guys think? Green eyes or brown? Oh, you like the green eyes. Okay. And then we might have to separate them just a little. I'm going to separate them. Only because they are a little bit farther apart. Uh, what's green eyes? Too chicken to try resin. Green eyes, okay. And then I'll have to stick these down somewhere else. Where's my little bag? And she has cute little pouches. Isn't that a cute pouch? Keep them in. You can mix the spray, the mix the water or gel sprays are messier. Got you. Joyce is green too, okay. Tilt them in a little. How's that look? Hi, Kathy. Okay, let me stick that one there. And then make sure I get this straight. Even I'll come down just a tad. Okay, we're down. <laughs> uh, I know there's a way to seal them. Let's just read in the chat.
And you can tell because they turn like a, you can see when they peel off the paper. There we go. Cute. Triple thick spray. What's that for, the triple thick spray? I use triple thick um, paint, but I don't think I've ever used a spray. Oh, she looks cute. Time is 506. Um, let's see. I got these cute little, these are really for your hair, but <laughs> I got these cute little barrettes to hold my paper down. That is a perfect size. Oh, thank you. And then what color lips? Should we make her all greenish? Pink. Pink lips. Ooh, let's see. This one is called Cosmo. I'm just trying to in here and then should we use what you use maybe the pastels so now what will should we do for her hair though pink lips I want to get a little bit darker pink mm. yeah well, those yellow in the spray yeah. Are you using the spray what? To spray over your pages? Triple thick. What are we using that for? the background oh thanks oh my gosh yeah we sprayed that with just some lace i love using the lace because it's so like intricate this is a water pencils Ocele alkaline, thank you. Got ya. Um, all right, so what shall we do for? I want to put this big heart like right there. So that's kind of like coming over her. But what color? What color should we use? Leave that on there. And then we need to, let's well, go with brown, I think. Let's go with a little brown. Take a spray. I 
then I would be like resist, and then we could come back over with the maybe gold. But what do we want to spray it with? I think I want to spray it right there. But what color? I need a color. Tell me. What color shall we spray her her bottom here dress? I could go with this teal green. Or should we just pick a totally different color? I have that dark green. Remember that dark green? Remember this one? This one's a dark green. But I don't think we got it to spray last time. This one is the blue. Should we do the blue? Maybe a pink? Pink spray. I have tattoo pink, which would be permanent. Oh, where is that spray? Tattoo pink. My problem is... I have it in that sprayer that I can't really use. Just empty this one. All right, let's put some tattoo ink in this. So I don't think I have tattoo ink in anything. Um, oh, yeah, I do. I do have it in here. But I'm going to spray it in here. I have just a hard time spraying those. I don't know why. I don't know because if they're like Dollar Tree. Um, I'm here. I don't know if I'll stick onto that washi tape. We'll see. All right, where is a pipette? Do I have one? Um, I don't have one. I'm going to take my chance and pour it in here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You think the pink heart was nice? Yeah, okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> this doesn't always go well. Yay! <laughs> Where is... I'm going to keep this closed. So this will be like a sash, I think, on her. Um, and we need... What I'm going to do is I want, I want the exact um, thing on there, so... What I'm going to do is pencil, pencil, <laughs> what's nice about this pink, it's permanent, this tattoo ink.
Okay. So that is exactly, exactly like that. And then let's do this one. that off. Not sure that's the exact, but just so that we don't get it all over the place. <laughs> mm. Okay. And this will cover this. So do I have it in the right spot? Let me just double check. I'm going to put a little piece of tape. What did I do with my tape? And then I think I'm going to come back with gold to do the rest. So, all right, here we go. I need to um, Another piece of paper, and then just blot that. There we go, looks cute. I think maybe. This almost looks like a sleeve. We should do it on this side. What do you think? Put it on this side. These are really nice little misters. I love this. Amalia made us these in uh, when we went to Maryland, and I use it all the time. She looks cute, except for I got some pink on her. <laughs> so we'll let that dry. I like this turn kind of like a purplish. Can you see that? Kind of like purple. I think I'm going to go over this with some gold watercolor in this part. All right, we need to do something with her face. 
So let me get out my... Let's get out these. She almost looks like we still haven't decided. Am I just going to keep her hair green and make that kind of just all green? Oh, you can't see. What do you think? Like the mint green yeah okay so i think that's what we'll do we'll just keep we'll just come in with the paintbrush and then this just will be all her hair and then we'll have to put in something what should we do here for her wings i do have this um silvery gold stickles we could stick on there This one is actually sequence. I don't know. It's so hard to read. These are so tiny. I want to give her a little bit more on the red. And then she'll give her some green eyeshadow. Go with a little bit darker green. Um, like this. I come in here with the light. I have to darken her eyes too. Um, 24. She just needs a little bit darker under her chin. Mm, I like the mint green. Yeah, I do too. A little shadow on her face. She's got that little pink on there, so maybe we'll put a little pink on her nose. And then, she's looking very super. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> I 
I'm going to put a little bit dark around her, her nose here. <laughs> Not beneath her. <laughs> Like a little bit more pink. Looking cute, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I have to come in with a little bit darker. Fix those eyebrows. Uh, let's see. Okay, and I can use this to active. These are the water wands. You wish I had a complexion, yeah. And then let's add one of those uh, butterfly, the cutout butterflies on here also. I think that would look cute. I love her eyes, don't you? <laughs> I love her eyes. Um, let's see. Where are my little butterflies? Let's try one of these. Go to that on her shoulder. Hmm. What do you think? I'm going to use one of these. Uh, try using pastels. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. <coughs> well, let's finish up her hair down here. We can do that. And then we'll add one of these. And then I still think I want to go inside here with the gold. Uh, so... We need this and these.
what's nice is that paint will resist so Oh, I like her hair, right? Where's it be? Where's the getting it? <laughs> hmm. Yay to not spilling anything tonight. <laughs> I do have a little bit of this gold. I got some of that green when we sprayed it last time on here. Just want to put some more gold on here. On her wings. What's nice is that paint will resist too. So when we put the stickles on there, it should. Should work out all right. I'll put a little bit of gold in here. In our eyes. Oh, whoops. Uh, need to get her. Okay. <laughs> okay, Patty. I'm almost done anyway. Another 15 minutes or so. And then I think I'm going to give away. I have got the Daphne's diary. Um, and I'm not really going to use it. So, unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to have it available for U.S. only. Because I could send it media mail. And it will, will cost me a lot. Um, so, we'll do that like in 10 minutes or so. Try and see what else we want to do to this girl. I want to put one of these. Where's my little? Uh, oh, thanks, Martha. <laughs> She's looking cute. <laughs> she needs a little bit more cover up on her eyes, I think, there. And then I'll have to decide what butterfly to use. Good. Okay, thanks, Debbie, for stopping in. Loving my pink chair. <laughs> Debbie Epps, she um, got a pink chair, and uh, you're back. Yay. <laughs> you love the eyes? They're Jane's rubbed eyes. <laughs> we need to get, um, let's see. She uh, enabled me to get the pink chair. <laughs> I'm looking for my... Is this it? That's not it. Where's my white pen? Hmm. My white pen, here it is. It's not the one I want, the thick one. I want the little one. Oh, thank you, Kathy. And then when we put the stickles on there, she'll look really cute. Let's see if that works. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. All right. Anything else? I'm trying to think what else I want to do. Oh, the foot. Yeah, butterfly. Butterfly. I don't know 
about the yellow one? I don't know. What about that one? It's too blackish. This one with the gray. I don't know if I want that one with the gray wings. I don't know. What do you think about that one? Or this one? Maybe this one? Let's see. These are so cool. If anybody has a Chinatown next to you, near you, definitely go. <laughs> oh, what do you think about that? That looks cute, doesn't it? That or does it need to be in her hair? Can you see that? Oh, oh thanks. Yeah, the yellow one. You're right. That's the one I picked, Dorothy. Um, what do you think? In her hair or down here? On her hair, you think? Hair, hair, hair. Okay, on her hair. So should we do it like this? This one with the branch coming off. Like that? How about that way? Where the branch looks like it might be coming from, well, out of her head. <laughs> hair, please. That guy got on the hair. Oh, sorry, CP. You're out ranked. Hair. How about right there? That looks pretty good to me. I'm waiting, waiting for chat to say. Yes, there. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do, I think glue or I'm going to where is my glue stick I could either do maybe I'll just do yes with the branch I think I'm going to use this but I'll use it with my finger oh gosh I can open it up I'm going to put a little water So let's just gently tack it down for now. These are so cool. I really love these. And I'm going to come in with a, I'll see, like all these little pieces, I'll have to come in with like a little brush, I think, like if the antenna and all that. But oh my gosh, she's looking cute. Bye, Joy. <laughs> uh, thanks, Joy. All right. Uh, I need a wipe. Maybe wipe. I don't see one. Hmm. And it's all, all dried out with my last one. Uh, And this girl started out, remember it was a, um, we used her on another page. I can't remember which page it was, but it's a Gulf Sprite uh, stencil. So a Gulf Sprite stencil for her and then uh, Jane's eyes there. And I'll come back probably and darken those because her eyes are so dark. But now yeah, that's looking cute, isn't it? Cute, cute, cute. All right, I'm going to add the stickles. And then we're going to give away the book. And then we're going to go. And then I don't know what we're going to do next week. We'll see. Um, scissors. Maybe I'll still work on my fairy. It depends on what we get done tomorrow. Um, so, and then don't forget to watch Devin tomorrow. Devin and Shelly be coming on at 5. 5 Eastern, right, Devin? Um, let's double. Doubled? 
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Brenda. Oh my gosh, I love your girl too. If you haven't seen Brenda, she did two girls. They're really cute. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you have? Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. I love the stickles because it's got the cute little stars in it. Yes, Eastern. Okay, yeah. After Janet. Janet's not till five, though, is she? Stays on to what? About three thirty ish. And once this dries, I might come back and add like another coat. We'll see. Because I want her wings really glittery. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Susan. To the bottom. Okay, yep, I'll do that. Maybe that's what'll go in here. Remember, I was going to put gold in here. Maybe that's what I'll outline it in the magenta. I really want you to be able to see the stars in there. Can you see them? There we go. This one I should have brought her wing down a little bit hot lower, but what are you gonna do? Oh, thank you, Ash. <laughs> okay. Uh, what should I do with my here it is? Yeah, if I brought the magenta down, what did I do with that one? This one. We put a little bit in her lips. Ugh, of course, did I stick my whole hand in there? <laughs> of course. I'll still have to come in and work on her a little bit. But, um, I don't know. Can you see that? I don't know if I want to outline that. I don't know what I want to do to outline that. Since this is permanent, I could come back over maybe with the magenta, and I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, that's what she looks like so far. And you can see. I love that. That little paper thing. So cute. Um, and there's her little face. I want to darken it and put a little bit more shadow in there. You can see the stars? <laughs> yeah, barely. You can find it. <laughs> you see the stars there. And then there's her little dress. So cute. All right, so next week, I don't know what we'll do. We'll see. Um, I'm glad I got to use that little, little cute little thing, Chinese cutout. Let me clean this up a little bit, and then um, I'm going to do the giveaway for the magazine. And uh, There won't be any, like, note or tag or anything because you can't include anything like that when you do media mail. So it'll be just, uh, just the magazine. <laughs> but you'll see that... Um, it was for me. <laughs> oh, she's cute, 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 cute. All right. So we did get to swatch out the colors. Oh, let me show you them now that they're dry. It's hard in the camera to pick up the colors, but there is a little bit of pink, a little bit of that in there. I put too much water in these bottom ones, but yeah. That was the new one. 
Okay, Kathy. Thanks, everyone. All right. So, all right. So, if you live in the U.S., you're um, can uh, you know try for the magazine, um, and then it's always one number closest without going over. Can't get that sound. I love that sound that Jane makes, and I never do it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you for Tuesday. Yes, keep me yes in your prayers if you can Tuesday, because I. I can't go through that again. What I did a couple years ago, that, that was awful. Oh, I think I'll die if I have to do that again. All right. All right, so let's move that to the side. Oh, I'm going to keep touching that. All right, so it's going to be for the um, Daphne's Diary. And I won't be able to throw anything extra in there. Like usually I try to throw in some napkins or, you know, some ribbon. I'm not going to be able to do that because media mail just has to be the book. So, so uh, I'll get you that. So what do we want? We need. Well, let's see. Got that. Use the other side of my cute little pug thing. Oh, you do? Well, okay. Well, then you can put your number in. Let me get um, .org up. Uh, and how many people here? Let's do 1 to 75. I think that's a good one. 1 to 75. Okay, so we have that. Um, 1 to 75. Can you see that? Let me use this. Um, and then I always put in my chat, ready, set, go. And then when you see the go, that's when you start putting your numbers in. Um, yes, one number and the one that's closest uh, will get it. And US only, because like I said, I just can't. It would be more than the magazine to send. So... All right, so let's go. Uh, and then don't forget to let me put my email. Hopefully I get it right this time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Last week was like forever. <laughs> and then this is the number one. I think the new one, is there a new one out now? I saw the one with bunnies or something. That was a cute one. But I know I'm not going to use it, and it'll be shame just to sit here. So I know. Um, but they're probably the only thing I would do is I would cut out this. I really love this. <laughs> so we keep going. What do we have here? That's it. How many are you here? And that's all that's going. Only half of you are putting in for it. Oh, half of you must be U.S. I mean, out of U.S. All right, so we're going to do 75, 75. Uh, oh, thanks, CB. Uh, all right, I'd like to have 50 more seconds. Get your numbers in. Oh, Jeannie, I didn't see you there. <laughs> thanks, Joan. All right, get ready to put in the stop. No, go ahead, Susan, you can. <laughs> 10 more seconds. I'll count it down like Dee Dee does. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last choice. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Okay. All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. 44. Who has 44? Close to 44. Uh, 44. We have CB at 29. No, not CB. Brenda. Brenda at 79? 29? I mean, anybody else closer than 29? 
44. Nobody went 30. It looks like maybe Brenda. Is that right? Looks like Brenda. <laughs> Yay, Brenda with 29. <laughs> All right. So please email me your address, Brenda. Scraps to beauty at AOL. Scraps to beauty. Make sure I got it right. Scrap to beauty at AOL.com. <laughs> Yay. All right, good. Well, thanks, everyone. Um, yeah, so that was fun. So we actually did that and we uh, swatched Jane's watercolors. So well, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next week. Uh, like I said, I don't know what we'll do, but that's always fun. Well, thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, everyone. Have a good week. And then I will see you there. If you stay this long for the recording, thank you very much. Don't forget about Devin tomorrow and Shelly.